guys, it's Caitlin from Caitlin and Jazz Books, and today I'm going to be doing my August wrap up. It's going to be short because this is all I read this month. I'm in a bit of a slump, <laughs> and I have been for how many months? One, two, three, four, five, five months. It's a fun time, but I'm also ill, as you can tell by my voice. But I'm here anyway to tell you about the three books I read. Also, all three of them have like really broken spines. So I mean, the first book that I read was actually a reread and I was reading it because of my slump and I was like, you know what, I'll just read something that I know extremely well and that I don't have to concentrate on and that I can just skim read and know exactly what's happening. So the first book I read was The Hunger Games by Susan Collins, reread, like five out of five stars again, obviously. I've even loved this book. This is the series that got me into reading um, and it will, Forever be my favourite, I'd like to say. I mean, obviously there's things like, which at the time I'll be like, oh my god, favourite book, favourite book. But I just like discount this. When I say something's my favourite book, this one's always at the top. And then everything else is just sort of like slightly below it. It's not because things are just a better storyline than this, it's just because this is like what got me into reading and this book means like the world to me. So... That's where that. That was a long rant to say that I read The Hunger Games, but I did. Next book I read, I have to say, I thought I read it not in August, but whatever the month is, July. I thought I read it in August, and so I was looking at my book, and I was like, oh, apparently I read it this month. But that was Poison Study by Maria V. Schneider, which I gave three and a half stars. The only reason I gave it three and a half stars is because I felt like... It's hard to explain, and I feel like if you read it, you might understand me, or you'll have read another book like this, and you'll relate. But it felt slow but it was going extremely fast in the way that hmm how do I explain no wait it felt fast but it was going slow that's what I was trying to say basically everything that was happening was happening really quickly but like it felt to me like it was going so slowly but then I was like halfway through and like something happened which usually would happen like near the end of a book and I was like that happened really quickly into the story but I felt like I've been reading it really slowly do you get what I mean that's what I was trying to say so because of that I gave it three and a half stars um yeah again that was really bad and a really long-winded way to say that I've read Poison Study and then the last book I read was a book for school, and that was The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, which I gave four and a half stars. I loved this book so much. It made you think so much, and it's just like, I can't wait to study it, because I'm already, like, int interested in, like, the story, and interested in, like, seeing what's lying behind all of, like, what you know, which obviously we find you learn when you study it. But, I mean, it was really good, and it made you think a lot in the way that like it could happen it could potentially happen and you can see it happening and there's aspects of it which you see happening already and it's kind of scary and it's just like really thought provoking really good i really recommend you read this but i would say does it have an age li limit on it no but i would say like 14 plus yeah but i mean i'm excited to study this so the handmaid's tale wasn't that just the quickest wrap up you have ever seen in your life because same but those were the books I read in why can I end at August there should be more next month because I'm finishing one today and today is the first so I've got 50 pages left of that so I'll be finishing that today so that will be the first book of this month yay and then I'm reading a book that's this big but I mean it's fine and I'm going back to school so I mean huh maybe it won't be a good reading month but I'm trying Anyway, leave a like, comment and subscribe if you want to and someone will see you next time. Bye guys!